So I was talking with a grown up. Uh, apologies if I'm not. We were talking about a quadratic polynomial. <laughs> hilarious, Maggie. We could talk about that. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we'll get into that as soon as I give you this example of how little adults in the Western world or in my part of the world understand about investing in personal finance and why our education system is so horrendous when it comes to teaching kids, uh, anybody really, about investing in personal finance, right? So three years ago, basically, the markets took a tumble, right, for multiple reasons right the stock market uh, the Dow Jones we're gonna talk about the Dow Jones Dow Jones dropped here we'll do this uh, I'm not gonna put we're just gonna put time here right in a matter of two weeks in a matter of two weeks right actually let's call it one month so let's say zero time to 30 days 30 days okay and let's go zero let's go Dow Jones at the time was around 31,000, I think. I, I find, or let's say 32,000, right? So Dow Jones was at 32,000. In a matter of two weeks, even less than that, 10 days, the Dow Jones dropped down to 32, 18,000, right? So just plummeted, right? Plummeted. So the Dow Jones lost almost 50% of its value, right? 16 would be 50 percent so dow jones lost about 40 percent let's say drop so minus 40 percent drop in a matter of like two weeks right straight down nose dive right this is the dow dow is the top 30 stocks in wall street in the united states that are listed there right there's a whole bunch of them you can look it up uh, there's Home Depot and uh, Visa and blah, 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 Microsoft, Apple, all this stuff, right? A lot of FANG stocks, right? Here is, and I was having this conversation with a family member that has been in the markets for a long time, right? Here's the same time frame, time, 30 days, okay? This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, we'll say Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing. Oh, my God. Sp Mind is mush. Spider-Man. Spider. Don't forget the hyphen. Man number one. Right? Amazing Spider-Man number one in mid-grade. 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 Mid grade. The reason I was looking at this is because when the markets went down, I was looking at comic books to be able to buy them, right? Because I was expecting comic books if they drop forty percent, I was gonna buy some, right? Start dumping money into it, right? Amazing Spider-Man mid grade. I forget what it was going for, like thirty grand. Let's say around the same price. All right. Let's say, let's say it was thirty grand, right? Amazing Spider-Man number one didn't drop 40%. It came down to around 25,000. That's it, <laughs> right? Came down to around 25,000, whatever that is. That's 5,000 drop, uh, five over 30, one over six what's one divided by six i don't know what's one divided by six uh, one one divided by six equals so it dropped like 16 let's say 20 percent. not even it dropped like 16 percent. Oh, okay let's call it i don't know, let's call it 15 percent. okay it dropped 15 percent in value right at the same time the dow jones was dropping 40 percent nose diving right meanwhile if you extend this time this time right if you extend this time into decades decades the better investment if you were about to invest in anything would have been collectibles instead of the markets right but they don't teach you this in schools they don't teach you this in schools 
The only thing they say investing is main places that they talk about for investing is real estate and stocks. Those are really the only two things they talk about when it comes to places you can invest your money. That's what they're indoctrinating kids with, right? And as children grow up, they become adults. This is the only thing they know, right? Invest in either the stock market or real estate, right? They, they don't they don't know about collectibles until they get older they get a little wiser they look at what their finances are doing they look at how much things are selling for collectibles and stuff like this right not only that they don't even consider investing in your health investing in your community investing in your family as investment right they, that doesn't even hit the radar not in my part of the world right so when it comes to personal finance investing education in centralized indoctrination centers it's garbage 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 okay because it's designed to enslave people right and the adults that only believe this crap only believe in in, in are investing in their own enslavement right because when I had this conversation with a family member that has been in the stock market for a long time and for years now, decades, he's been telling me that investing in comic books is not an investment. It's not a good place to invest. Even though he, he I've shown him otherwise and I've shown other people otherwise, right? Showing the value going up, selling some comics. Look, I bought this for a dollar, dollar fifty. I sold it for four hundred right do you have a stock that does that it's not an investment why is it an investment collectibles are one of the greatest places you could have invested your money and there's cognitive dissonance with people who only understand this system of real estate right and they can't believe their lying eyes right they can't believe their lying eyes which is a serious problem in our society that went a little bit not specifically mathematics related but it is because it's about our, our education systems. Okay, uh, that's my take. I'm not sure how it is where you are, Cheryl. Okay, I just want to get that off my chest.